Back to State Spire. Okay, I feel good now, guys. Let's go. Kick some ass. First run of the day. Okay. Jeremy, you're not gonna fuck this up. You have people watching you, alright? And you gotta win. Easy clap. Okay, let's go. Negacrit, how you doing, man? Anthony, did you see me uh, butcher your defect model by putting my face underneath its crotch? If you saw that, I apologize. I like Red Skull. Missed it. <laughs> Thirty four. This is going to be a twenty split, right? And I'm going to have four strength. That's decent. I, I could have just blocked and then attacked, not, but this is fine because we're totally going to just wreck these guys. What's up, Longwar? How you doing, man? Go for the weaken here. Or twin strike because of the strength. I like twin strike. The weaken is not bad, but you know what? Because we have all the strength, twin strike is looking promising. Wait, I'm going to preserve life. What's up, Tapioca J? We could do burning packs to thin out the decks to get to our spot weakest more often, or we could just skip this. Anthony, I swear you came in, everybody's watching, winky face. I said it's the first run of the day. You're up to this. You gotta be. You give me dead brains every time I'm struggling. Thank you. Appreciate it. Everybody's watching. Winky face. I make sense now. It makes sense. The irony is I'm gonna fuck this up too. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Dead branch. Do we do war card just to have the dead branch? Yes. I like Vajra. But you know what? Maybe I like blind better. Can you see? Deep form, mouth and hands, deal pain, infernal blade, ice cream, pen nib. Yeah, crazy. That's a nice. That's a good run. Um, I like blind a lot because we didn't take the um close in. I want the weaken. I was gonna get the Vajra because it's not bad, but I think blinds something I want to upgrade and take with me into Act Two, Three, and Four.
important is a thin deck, at least frequently, and it always seems like because I choke myself out of good cards by the time I die. A thin deck's not that important. What's more important than a thin deck is the motion of the ocean. Nah, I'm kidding. What's more important than a thin deck is, um... A consistent deck. So, making sure that you don't go too crazy with the offense or trying to, you know, do crazy forcing archetypes and getting too off track of what your deck's trying to do. So as long as you maintain the identity of the deck, like let's say your deck wants to like s cycle into its poison or its strength dumping card as often as possible, then it makes sense to make the deck thin and keep it thin. Because for instance, you want to make a rampage come as often as possible or you want to dump your strength with sword boomerang as often as possible or even use spot weaknesses, you know, limit break, whatever. So that there's, there's, there ha there's purpose to have a thin deck because it's trying to do something by being thin. It's mainly because you don't want to bloat the deck there's something that you're trying to use more, you're trying to use something as often as possible because that's like your main source of damage or scaling or whatever. Or maybe even your block, it works for block as well. Let's say your best block cards are Flame Barrier Plus and like Charge Battery Plus. So it makes sense to keep the deck small because you want to draw those cards as often as possible because those are the cards you want to play for your, your blocking purposes. So you keep the deck thin for those reasons. Um, but if your deck... If your deck is a big deck, you could also have like things like um, like stack be something you want to utilize. So keeping it big and having good card draw and all that stuff. It's, I mean, there's there's again, it, this game is it's hard to kind of pin down into one specific thing. But the deck should be thin, I think, with purpose, and you don't want to take cards that are not that great yeah so you want to make sure that the card the card that you pick up when you pick a card it makes the average quality of your deck better if you're taking a card that's making the average quality of your deck worse you shouldn't take the card so right here exhume fiendfire offering i think fiendfire and Ex exhume probably will make the average quality of my deck better um well they're both kind of awkward but Fiendfire or Dead Branch seems pretty no-brainer exhume is kind of nice as well because exhume is going to get value from Dead Branch in some way, right? Team Fire Dead Branch, that's a good way to just get a whole new hand of cards while dumping their strength, which spot weakness in Red Skull. It seems kind of no-brainer. But Exhume could be something like, let's say I get a Disarm, I want to play it again, and we can get even more Dead Branch off that as well. So here we get Calling Bell, Curse Key, Black Blood. I'm going to get the Energy because we have Darkstone Periapt. So Darkstone Periapt could be interesting with Calling Bell, but I'd rather get the Energy. But if we take the, the Calling Bell, we could get rid of all the curses with Fiendfire. But again, energy is the most important factor here. You got the hero Rix when he dies. Yeah, I know Rix, yeah. I got Braces of Sacrifice. Yeah, 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 I remember that. And Revit Signal Ring, which is just the bungee. Nice, that's awesome, Trout. That's awesome. No, that's totally fine. I think, um... I think that's interesting, Those the combo you have. I... I think... How, how how many wins did you get? Did you do well? I think because I feel like Rix is not that great. I think the Bracer Sacrifice, not the greatest item, but I, I guess if you use all those, if you use that combo together, I guess you can see, get value out of that. The combo seems fun. Yeah, the combo seems fun. I have a really good draft going on right now. I have three Mist of Avernus and stuff. When we get the artifact, I'll show you what we got going. We have a really nice draft going on. Anyways, let's go for an elite. Go for three elites. I might be overly ambitious, but let's see. Double Kraken dude, you mean the Tidehunter? Oh, I have Perfected Strike. Ah, uh, totally forgot. Whoopsies. Yeah, Tidehunter's good. So he's he he kind of gungs up the lane because he you need Tidehunter to get some kind of scaling or some kind of damage increase. So like Stonehall Pike is really good on him. Mr. Ververnus. I have a Mr. Ververnus with Tidehunter right now in the draft. The draft that I'm running right now is probably gonna be a five winner we're gonna we'll, we'll talk about it later when we get there so we've got sword boomerang for the dumping the strength we got headbutt we could use headbutt to uh, maybe bring back something that we missed or you know maybe because we couldn't play it, that like, dead branch gave me something and i couldn't play it because of energy problems or i can bring spot weakness back i think headbutt's the 
sensible choice. Obviously, Infernal Blade works with Dead Branch as well, but... Corruption. Come on. So here we got Ghostly, Evolve, Second Winds, Metallicize, Shockwave, True Grit. I don't know. I think Curse Shark, I think it's just random. But maybe Anthony can tell you. I think Anthony pulls it from the fuck you relics. Like the, you shouldn't have taken this relic. Here you go. Uh, enjoy your loss. That's the pull that chooses from. From my experience, at least. We have a ghostly shockwave. I don't know, man. Second wind's kind of interesting with um with dead branch. Shrug it off just makes my you know average block better, which we kind of need block. Ghost armor does the same thing. So ghost armor not only does, does it block, but it also can be dead branch. Shockwave is nice to get AOE weak and invulnerable, and do as well get dead branch off that. Evolve can make me take things like power through, but I, I definitely not taking evolve here. All right. I think I like the ghostly here. Maybe even pummel because we have some strength to pummel. Pummel makes sense because we have a lot of strength and we have um. It get exhaust with dead branch. Truka is not bad either. Yeah, Truka is also really nice. I just didn't want to have to upgrade it. But Truka is also really good. With, it's, it's actually Truka is like probably top tier with dead branch. I didn't even mention Truka to be honest. I think I even I think I forgot it was even there. This is a good example of like using headbutt to bring back some of these cards. Um, whoops, um, um, my math wasn't there, okay, no worries, no worries, no worries, it's all good, it's all good, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, Jeremy, it's all part of the plan, oh, frick, this is not good. This is not good. Oh god. I I'm actually throwing. Oh my god. I'm actually throwing so hard right now. Uh, I should probably just kill this just to be safe, but I kind of want to take a risk. I want to do Fiend Fire here and hope that I get something to kill this. But I should probably be safe and strike first. Frick. What do you guys think? Fiend Fire here or be safe? Ah. Uh, safety, mafety. Wow, that's crazy, but I really want to do that, I guess. So spot weakness gives this what? Does it, does it become um, 20 damage or does it become like 16 damage? 20 plus might as well one way to find out. Oh, it's 18 damage. Easy clap. Second wind with dead branch. Sure. Hmm. This elite is looking a little more scary at this point. Might have been overly ambitious. Oh, 
Oh boy. A lot of nice cards, but I, I have to do that. Seen red. I like tiny chest, but maybe I think it's better to remove a strike here, maybe. I don't know, you think tiny chest might be worth it? I like tiny chest a lot. But I have curse key, maybe I don't want tiny chest that much. Curse key and tiny chest is kind of an awkward thing. Because I, I, I may not want to take too many chests with curse key. But I do have dark stone, but still. That's true. Oh, there's a shop I can buy corruption. You're right. You're right, you're right. Corruption. Bam. I think Final Pain is probably just as good as corruption here. Now, Bag of Prep is nice because we can use that to find our eventual corruption so we can get it out quicker and the, get the Final Pain out quicker. But there's also Battle Trance, which is pretty damn nutty in its own right. Bag of Prep for the powers. Maybe battle trance for Fino, for fiend fire. Mmm, the bag of prep though. Bag of prep helps me find the powers. Helps me find corruption eventually. You think chance is better? I'm gonna rest, guys, because I I don't want to fuck this up. Although being low in life is not bad for the uh, Red Skull purposes. Part of me wants to do Havoc right now. But Bash is probably the more sensible play. I want to do Havoc right now. Alright. Oh, hot tamale. I gotta play this first. Awkward. Whoa, mama. There goes that man. This is gonna hurt me. Why couldn't I have gotten that sooner? So we have Klee for AoE, we have a uh, Sever Soul for the Dead Branch stuff. It also helps with the Regret, but I, I think we just skip here. I don't want to like bloat the deck, I want to... I mean the, bolts, the deck's gonna get bloated by Dead Branch anyways, but I kind of want to get into these cards as often as possible. What will happen? <laughs> Ooh. So we can remove regret or we could um add so many so many good upgrades here. I'm resting again, guys. I've rested three times in a row. That doesn't feel good.
Wait a second. Wait a second. Do I dare go straight for face and let the dead branch take over? Or do I want to keep flame barrier? Maybe do immolate. Play cool, right? Flame barrier, immolate, play cool. What do we do here? We have six... Energy. Give me the cards, baby. Atta boy. That's what I like to see. Uh, dark Embrace. Damn, a lot of good stuff here. I don't know if we want to do Demon Form here. I mean, Dark Embrace is really nice. There's also, like, Flex... Ah, Jesus Christ. Uh, just sever soul and keep going. Just gotta find corruption ultimately, right? Sever soul helps me find corruption. I feel like this is gonna be very bad because I'm about to take a crap ton of damage, guys. About to take a crap ton of damage. I think I want to look for corruption one more time by doing pummel here. And I want to kind of kill the minions. Ho! Oh, and you thought I was done. So you said you wanted Demon Form Dragon Brace. Well, there you go, sir. But I'm not done, because I still want to do Disarm first. Or do I? Do I want to do Dragon Brace? Disarm first. <laughs> I'm never finished, baby. What do you think this is? Some kind of game? Well, in fact, sure, it actually is a game. Hmm. How about this? How about this? We kill this man. Ah, uh, maybe this is better. Protect my life. Ah. Uh, protect my life, kill this man. Thunderclap's coming up, though. Phenol Pain, Spot Weakness, War Cry. I could have a bad draw coming up. We, we could also have a good... If I get War Cry, I can start doing some crazy stuff. I like this. I did take a little bit too much offering to the face, though. Ouch. Ouch. Sir, I do not appreciate that damage. But I do appreciate this. Oh my lord. So if I kill this, does does he not... Mm. Wait a second. This is getting kind of butt-clenching. Wait a second. I need that impervious back. Too easy. You know what? RNG me, baby. So I could do RNG me, baby, or I could do Heavy Blade set up lethal. RNG me, baby. Lethal. Set up lethal. Next time we have... Flex, Bash, Thunderclap. And that's a lot of damage. We have 13 strength, right? So next turn, this is going to be lethal with Heavy Blade now, right? Easy clap. Ooh. Okay, so Barricade. Barricade is really good with Dark Embrace, Final Pain. Like, all that block I'm going to be getting from Corruption, Dark Embrace. Sorry, from Corruption, Final Pain. If we get Corruption, of course. Maintain it. Win the game. Dark Embrace is obviously really good too, but I think Barricade is like... Probably the better one. Uh, they're both good. I like Barricade better. No potions, wounds, 
No smithing. Okay. Maybe we can get away with not smithing, because if we get a corruption, we don't really care about energy costs, so then we can just... Probably don't care about upgrading at that point. I like potions, because potions can give me something like... Draw potions and... Thorns. Artifacts. You name it. You think, I think always Soju is a little bit... I think Soju is a little bit worse now with Act 4. I think so is a little bit worse. What would I upgrade ideally? I mean, I would like to upgrade Havoc. I would probably want to upgrade Fiendal Pain, right? So these are two things I really want to upgrade. I want to upgrade Havoc, Fiendal Pain. You know, Fiendfire is probably a decent upgrade, but Havoc, Fiendal Pain are two things I want to upgrade. Maybe eventually Barricade and Battle Trance, of course, because of card draw. So I will suffer there. Most cards will be Dead Branch anyways, exactly. So since I'm going to be Dead Branching cards... The uppers are not that interesting. I mean, if corruption also changes my like, if I get corruption, I'm not gonna care at all about upgrades. With that being said, I don't want to go too crazy on the um. I want to hit both these shops because I want to find corruption. So I'm not gonna go too crazy with the leads here. There's a, there's a ways around it as well. We can get armaments plus. Awkward. Taking lots of damage. This is awkward. Is it better to control my draw next turn? I don't like how much damage I'm taking every fight. I want feed. Warcraft Plus. So when you get all upgraded offers, it doesn't matter if I can't upgrade. I can't get feed from Dead Branch anymore, right? Anthony, I can't get feed anymore? Or can I? No more feed? Rip. Where's corruption, man? Hmm. I like Master Strategy. Okay, I like Shockwave. But the AoE weaken. We have Blind already. I think we remove a strike. Actually, maybe we keep our money for the next shop coming up. Pass here. So if I take this curse, I get max HP and I get a heal. 
Now it's in my opening hand, which is awkward. Madness also kind of makes something free, and then also makes Dead Branch appear. But yeah, I'm losing 13 HP, and HP is kind of a thing I'm concerned about right now. Haha, <laughs> curse shocker. He, that damn shopkeeper. Like, keeping his little grubby hands in the corruption. It's corrupt shopkeeper is what I call him. Underneath those rugs. I don't, I don't necessarily want to lose max HP. I actually want to gain max HP here. I'm, I'm going to do this. I like this. This gives me three random skills and it exhausts and it costs zero. Uh, if I had corruption already, I wouldn't mind that because that's just like. That would be free with corruption and then I get other. I and mean, that would be kind of nice, but. It's awkward. I think Crystal is awkward. I guess Deep Breath is okay, but even Deep Breath is kind of like eh. The bomb. I'm gonna skip here. Maybe deep breath is not that bad. I gotta use the bathroom, guys. Nature's banana is uh digesting itself. Let me be, I'll be give me like two minutes. We're passing here, yeah? I have five energy. Let me not forget this. <laughs> I can take some I can take some expensive cards. We do have five energy. I'm gonna deep breath, fuck it. So campfire is a little bit worse considering I can only rest, but I don't wanna like, I wanna go for the shop, cause there's a shop here, which could be corruption, but I... I mean, how risky are we wanting to be? Reptomancer. Nemesis, giant head. It's a really up to Dead Branch to carry me. And I don't like that, those odds. But again, I could also get some really nice relics. And relics from Oh, Joe Glogamer with a tier one seven months in a head? Seven months in a head. Seven months in a row. Welcome back, buddy. Ow. It's my last chance for Cypher Key. Ah! Emily is good, but I want Barricade. Man, my first turn is awkward because of this damn ride. What do you mean up to Glorify? I do not like this damage one bit. I do not like this, sir. Lots of sh uh, lots of school. For sure, I think you said lots of shako. They're talking about League of Legends. Don't ask me why.
And Timo. Get that Timo out of here. That damn filthy Timo. We don't want it here. Shockwave. Sentinel's not bad. We did, we didn't take True Grid. So we're, okay. Upgrade all cards. You can. That's gonna be. That's gonna be suicidal. So this is interesting because we get max HP from the Periads and we also get full life. But we're gonna rest again anyways. So we might as well get a rare relic. But there's also something to be said about the fact that me, me being full gives me running to the hedron. That means six energy. Six energy. But I don't have that much card draw, so six energy is not that great. And it's also giving me another curse, which is going to affect my draws even more. So we're going to go ahead and get the rare relic here. A lot of rage. Corruption, Pogchamp, please. I haven't seen corruption once all game. You think that's fair? Uh... I just split him at 75 because of combust. Whoops. That was a benumble play. Now starring Jeremy. Ha ah, shit! I want to. But then there's fiend fire. You son of a gun. The attempting mistress. I split again because of Combust. Combust and me don't work well together. Just throwing that out there. Corruption! Oh, she came back. You came back, my baby. Just in time. For some fun. Hasn't championed out forever. This is a thing that exists. This is a relic. Havoc plus. Oh yes, corruption. I need you in the shop right now. Right now. Come to me. Ooh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. Seeing red as well. Oh man, prismatic shard. You too. You want to have some fun? Damn, this just got a thousand times better. I think we get rid of Writhe, because I'm tired of not having a good opening hand. <laughs> ignore the relics, because he's like, ignore the relics. No, no, no. We, we, we can't do the prismatic. It's going to curse the run. I think we want to get rid of the Writhe and seeing red. <laughs> I know that's boring, but... Discovery is interesting, but it's gonna get rid of itself of corruption. I think, honestly, get rid of Writhe. Pick up Scene Red. Prismatic would be fun, but how fun is Prismatic really? I only get to get one card selection out of this, guys. One card selection. There's literally. Okay, this might be a fight, and then there's the elite fight, and that's it. Guys, we're gonna go for the win. Warcry? I save some money for Act 4 shop. This would have been Prismatic Shard. Told you so, Jeremy. You fucked it up. Science wins and deeds.
Until I use World One and kill myself here, because I forget about the reflect. Now I'm not gonna do it. I've learned my lesson. All right, that's already out there on Twitch. The lesson's been learned. I need to get my funeral pain out sooner. My deck is kind of fat. I'm not finding the powers I need. Very fat deck right now. I don't want to risk it. True Grip Plus. There was body sand, but True Grip Plus is amazing for me. Woo! Grindcore Poker, five dollars. No. No. Okay, let me pucker up. Hmm, I think Impervious is better because of Barricade, but I don't have Barricade up. Huh. Right, let me shrug it off as better. Just to cycle through my deck. Am I going to run out of my stuff too quickly? I might run out of it too quickly. Because I don't have barricade up. So this is probably problematic. Because you don't want to run out of things too quickly. Like, without barricade, this is a little risky. It's very risky, in fact. I, I, I shouldn't be doing this. I know better, yeah, I'm still doing it. Yeah, I'm still doing it right now. I just got rid of a lot of skills there. I'm throwing it, aren't I? Okay, lots of strength. I don't want to take too much damage because um, 
I want to be healthy for the next fight, too. Twin Strike first was better, but GG. Okay. Next fight. Whew. Okay, let's see if we get Dune Undeca, we have Funeral Pain, right? Dune Undeca it is. I don't like how much damage I'm taking right now. I don't like it at all. That's Barricade and Corruption. This could be good. <laughs> this could be really good. Holy shit. Holy shit. Is that too much Dark Embrace? Oh my god, that's too much Dark Embrace. We got this. Don't worry. Pino Ping, where you at? Is double demon form? No pain, finally. Easy clap. Okay. Act four. Oh boy. Got thorns for the heart. Let me stay hydrated here. Another funeral pain. I'm a little worried because there's a chance that, like, I, yeah, I like the the, the speed pot. Funeral pain is obviously really nice. I'm a little worried. Yeah, it's gonna be really nice funeral pain with if we get that out with the dark and break. No, if we get that out with corruption and barricade, it's probably really good. But I'm a little worried about the second turn of the elite fight because they gave me the two burns. Finesse I can't afford, but I think Funeral Pain is probably the best thing. Just to give me more value out of the exhausting I'm doing. The second turn of this fight is the most worrisome for me. Well, that helps immensely. Oh my god, what the hell? That's really nice. That's a really nice combo I just got right there. Oh my goodness. This is hilarious. I'm gonna destroy this fight. Are you kidding me?
I should have brought back like, Fiendfire. I'm stupid. I should have brought back like, Fiendfire to get rid of all of I'm so stupid. Fiendfire was the play. Fiendfire was better. So we can headbutt. Havoc. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. It's GG now. If it wasn't GG earlier, it's GG now for sure. Do we want the entrench for the barricade? <sighs> Do we want to just keep the deck small? Entrench could be nice, but it's also going to be fattening up my deck as well. I just got to make sure I get good, good, good draws. I mean, entrench could be nice, but it's probably unnecessary to be honest. It's most likely unnecessary. Barricade right away. This is bad. I didn't get a lot of block early. I feel no pain in barricade, but I need I didn't get block. Dark embrace. Dark embrace it is part of the combo. Is that gonna give me too much draw? Too many cards? Is that gonna give me too much? Hmm. Is that going to be too much? I want to do Bash Fiendfire, but I don't have energy for Bash. This is absolutely stupidly nutty, by the way. I'm sorry for ever doubting myself. Oh my god. Disarm on top of it? Are you kidding me?
Are you kidding me? You're joking. You're, jo you're joking. Take the wheel. Just do whatever the hell you want. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop it. It's too much. I demand you to stop. Can I ever run out of cards? Wait, you know, f flame bear. Wait, 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 wait. So this is... He's done for damage, right? So the flame bear doesn't count for the next turn. It's still the same turn. Body slam. Oh my. We need like a headbutt so we can headbutt. Send a message. Send a goddamn message. No, we're going to end it here. Headbutt. I want to headbutt the body slam, but the body slam is not... Okay. I could do a lot of cards because I could still get a lot of block. Because I'm getting 9 block per card. Oh, it does come for the next turn. It does come for the next turn. I should have done double... Oh my god, that's broken. I wish I... Trusted myself. Oh my God. Should have done flame, maybe. Holy shit! GG! Oh my god, you were lying! Jesus Christ, thank you so much for the 100 bits. $100, dude, thank you so much. I tried for that one. Wow. Let's get some love for Grindcore in the chat. Thank you so much, man. It means a lot. Appreciate that. Thank you. That was, that was one for the books right there. Yo, a thousand bits. Thank you so much. Okay, well that's nice. Let's let's go for two a two two wins back to back. Thank you so much, man.